The Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission has announced the salaries of politicians, judicial and public office holders will be increased by 114%. Chairman of the Commission, Mohamedou Shehu, made this known while presenting the report of the reviewed remuneration package to Nasser Idris, the governor of Kebi State. Shehu, who was represented by Reki Atanko Ayuba, a federal commissioner, said the implementation of the reviewed remuneration packages was effective from January the 1st, 2023. He said the move was in accordance with the provision of the paragraph 32D of part one of the third schedule of the 1999 constitution of the federal government as amended. The commission urged the 36 states, houses of assemblies to hasten efforts on amendment of relevant laws to give room for upward review of remuneration packages for political, judicial and public office holders. Well, earlier I spoke to Achike Chude, the political affairs analyst, and I began by asking him what his thoughts were on the approved salary increment of 114% for politicians, judicial and public office holders. I'm, I'm highly disappointed. Um, that our political office holders, our political elites are impervious uh, to the crisis of governance that we're facing, are impervious to the difficulty that Nigerians are facing, ordinary Nigerians are facing. And some of these ordinary Nigerians are doctors, uh, they are workers who are agitating to be paid meaningful living wages. And it's always a problem, you know, by, by governments to honor their just requests, even though they are you know, even though they abide by the rock, by the law, um, and and so it um, it just shows uh, their level, the level of insensitivity, and also disdain and content with which they hold every single one of us. Now, for years, the judiciary has raised concerns about pro remuneration of Nigerian judges. Now, do you think this increase is well deserved for this group? The very last time this was done, I remember clearly that Nigerians were protesting about maybe, was it about 16 years ago, or, but at least I know the last time that it happened, it was these same excuses that they gave to prevent political office, office holders from corruptly enriching themselves. So the fact that that corruption has grown in leaps and bounds, it increased, then it's an indication that it, it is just a frivolous excuse that is given to justify this terrible thing that they are doing. So we can't accept that excuse because it is not true. It doesn't stop corruption. How can, I mean, when somebody is greedy, is greedy. You have 1 billion naira, 10 billion naira in your account. You want to have 20 billion. You have 20 billion, you want to have 30 billion. So greed does not stop corruption. And so what is happening is that, uh, you, you, you know, uh, uh, there may perhaps members of uh, uh, the the uh, you know Revenue Mobilization and Fiscal uh, Commission are also benefiting from this. And the only way they can they can benefit from this is just to have an increase across board so that they themselves will be able to benefit from that.